Okay, we're back with another Jethro Toll tutorial. Today we're going to be going over Wondering Aloud from the Aqualung album from 1972. It was one of Ian's first really classic um, acoustic pieces, solo pieces. Really one of the first ones to really show off that wonderful mellow side to his voice. On the earlier albums he had sort of feigned this bluesy voice, which was really a disguise of his real voice. And while I like those records, I, I think it, you know, his voice really started to shine on the more solo acoustic pieces. So I'm capoed on the third fret and I am tuned standard pitch. I did tune with a tuner. Um, the record might, the album actually might be recorded just slightly sharp, uh, as I recall. I'm not sure about that. But I am in concert and I'll let you tune up to my guitar. We don't need to know a lot of chords for this song. That's not the hard part. The hard part are, are the right hand picking parts. But uh, the only chords we need to know are the C chord, D chord, G chord, and a suspended G chord, which is just putting your index finger and then letting it resolve, and an E minor chord. A minor. So those are the only chords in the whole song. So it starts on a C chord and he picks the first two notes of the chord and then strums the rest to get started. So you're going to play the first one, down stroke, up stroke, strum. come back and hit the C, the low, chord, uh, low note again, bass note, and that's where the vocal is going to start. One, one dream, and uh, the second syllable falls on this note. One dream, so he's actually playing harmony with his vocal with this um, bass run on the, on the uh, lower strings. Now the riff does, uh, doesn't follow his vocal exactly, so I'm going to show you how the riff goes. It goes... So if we slow that down... strum the A minor chord. And then we're going to hammer on with our index finger on the B string of the A minor chord. And then we're going to do a walk up to the G suspended chord. So the walk up starts on the A string. So there we're going to do a hammer on. playing the D chord and we're picking those notes individually. So 
So we're picking all those on the G string. And then we're doing that D chord thing that he does so frequently is hammer on, leaving that B string fretted, lifting these two fingers and hammering on. Get the rhythm of that right. Last night slipped the sunset. My hand. So this time we're not doing the, the hammer-ons twice, we're just doing it once. And then we're playing the middle two strings together, and we're going to play this all with down strokes. So we're going to fret those notes on the D string while we're playing the open G string at the same time. rhythmically tricky thing when we come back to the C chord for we are our own saviors <clears throat> because he plays strums the chord the whole chord on the downbeat and then he's gonna play the bass note on the offbeat and then he's gonna strum down on the next onbeat like that So that goes like this. We are our own saviors. And then we're going to hammer on with our pink our index finger on the D chord. We are our own saviors as we start. So what we're doing there, G chord, playing the bass notes of it and then strumming the rest. Downstroke, upstroke, strum. And then doing the same thing on the E chord. We are our own saviors as we start both our hearts. And then we're back to the D chord. And we're going to hammer on with our index finger again. Beating life, and then we're going to an E minor chord, life. So what we're doing there on the E minor chord is we're going to do a hammer. Actually, we're going to pick that. D string. So that's our passing notes, walking up, and then playing the G chord. And then we're going to do a tricky little thing here on the G chord. We're going to strum it, and then we're going to slur an upstroke and end on the A string, on that note. And then we're going to strum down again. And that's where our, we're going to sing on that downstroke, and I'll show you. In 
So we in, we sing that on the downstroke. Into each other. So we're doing that hammer on again. So we do that hammer on on those notes. We do that several times in the song in different parts. Into each other. Wondering of life, wondering of life. Will the years treat us well? As she floats in the kitchen, I'm tasting the smell. Once again, he hits that, strums that on the downbeat, picks that on the offbeat, and then strums down. Of toast, of toast, as the butter runs, then she comes, spilling crumbs on the bed. And I shake my head. And it's only the giving that makes you better, better what you are. So the ending of the song, instead of going to this D major, he makes it a minor. It's only the giving, see, that makes you. And then he's going to do that little riff da, 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 to E minor what you are what you are so we're doing that hammer on again what you are and it's only the giving that makes you da, 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 what you So that's Wondering Aloud, has those few tricky parts that We are, we are our own saviors As we start both our hearts beating right Into each other Okay, so I hope that uh, helps you learn that song. Uh, I hope I've explained it clearly enough. Uh, maybe I'm going a little too fast. If someone needs a, um, a more detailed uh, version, let me know and I'll see if I can see what I can do. So have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.